Chinsan is here with today's FanDuel Hurry Up, breaking down the biggest winners across free agency thus far in fantasy football. we got to start things off with Trevor Lawrence out in Jacksonville. We can criticize the Jaguars for what they paid for guys like Christian Kirk, Zay Jones, and Evan Ingram, but it comes down to the fact that they are putting players around Trevor Lawrence who are better than the supporting cast he had last year. Supporting cast matters a lot for quarterbacks. We've seen this in the past with guys like Jared Goff and Josh Allen, and Lawrence is getting an upgrade. Is it a big enough upgrade to totally move the needle and make him a high high-end quarterback for fantasy, probably not just yet. But the fact remains, adding in guys like Brandon Sheriff and all those pass catchers will make a difference for Lawrence. So last year was very shaky. You could have legitimate concerns around Trevor Lawrence, but it's going to be a better situation this year than what Lawrence had last year. That could make Lawrence a fun late-round flyer for fantasy under the assumption this offense improves in year number two. Sticking in Florida for our second stock up player, let's talk about Chase Edmonds signing with the Miami Dolphins, a spot that has been looking for a running back for a very long time. Mike McDaniel comes in and gets himself a running back here in Chase Edmonds that he saw plenty out in the NFC West, and Chase Edmonds is a guy we know can catch passes. That is so huge for fantasy, even on a half PPR site like FanDuel, Edmonds is a guy who should get targets here for this Miami Dolphins team. He will not be a workhorse type back because we know the Dolphins are likely to bring in someone else to fill that backfield as well. But Edmonds should be getting a decent number of targets per game. And if he can get you 10 carries as well, that projects out pretty well from a DFS perspective. Chase Edmonds is a guy who has shown when he gets a lot of work, he can be a big fantasy asset. So you put him out in Miami, you give maybe some better offensive linemen to the Dolphins at some point too. And Chase Edmonds should grade out pretty well. So Chase Edmonds gets out of that backfield in Arizona into a really good position to get opportunity with the Miami Dolphins. Speaking of Edmonds, let's talk about his backfield mate, his former backfield mate out in Arizona, James Conner, re-signing with the Arizona Cardinals and getting pretty decent money to do so as well. I think the money is a key indicator here because it says the Cardinals believe James Conner could be what he was last year. What he was was a very effective running back, both in the running game, but also in the passing. And that's a key because Conner, when he was with the Steelers, there was inconsistency with his use as a passing game back, but I think with the way they used him last year, we should expect James Conner to get a pretty hefty workload. There's no Christian Kirk in Arizona now, too, so some targets available for the taking. This is a good chance for James Conner to solidify himself as a legitimate running back for fantasy. I would not expect James Conner to play a 95% snap rate, as he did at times with no Chase Edmonds last year. You know, Benjamin should slot in. They may add someone else in the draft, but James Conner will get a chance to be a legitimate featured back once again and it's in an offense with Kyler Murray where he will have good quarterback a good quarterback play and some other interesting stuff there as well so James Conner gets good money stays with Arizona both he and Edmonds get their stock rising here with the way things played out in free agency plenty more free agency discussion to come here on the FanDuel hurry up because we just, there is still a lot left to be decided in free agency but Lawrence Edmonds and James Conner three clear winners in the opening round of this free agent market